Is Jesus truly enough? That's the question that needs to be asked today is, is Jesus truly enough? See, churches nowadays use fog machines, flashy lights, amazing sound speaker systems, fresh coffee and more just to bring people in each and every week. They make church seem cool and hip and for today's age and try to tend to what the people want no matter what the cost. Because the reality is if they didn't have those fancy things, the fog machines and the lights and the sound systems and the coffee and the really good worship band, many of those people would not show up and they would go find some other church that would tend to their sinful worldly needs. The horrible reality is most American churches are more focused on the numbers rather than the souls. They will do anything for the numbers to continue to fill their seats and their pockets. We have to understand lost people have this wicked mindset that if church doesn't have coffee, they won't go because they need their coffee in the morning. If the worship isn't up to their personal standards, they won't go because it's going to be boring or it's too energetic for them. If the childcare isn't up to par, well, they'll just go find another church that has better childcare. If the church service times don't fit when they want to go, well, they'll just find another church that does offer better service times. If the word preached doesn't make them feel good, they can't go now because they're offended. Why? Because they wanted to hear a pastor tell them how amazing and wonderful they are and how Jesus thinks they're just so awesome. Church, can we really not see what is wrong with that? The only thing that should be the focus of the church is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel that saves sinners. The gospel that brings people to their knees and causes them to weep before a holy and just God because of their sin they have committed against Him and Him alone. Until that message is preached in the pulpits of America, people will never truly know and see how loved they really are by Christ. We need to preach the gospel. We need to stop creating horrible sermons that tell people how they are David and that their problems in this life are Goliath. As Matt Chandler so beautifully said in a sermon, you are not David and your problems in this life are not Goliath. Church, please stop preaching these terrible and awful and false messages. See, so many churches are focused on being woke and hip and cool when the pastors of those churches need to be focused on preaching the word and preaching the gospel in each and every single sermon. And if the gospel isn't being preached in each and every single one of your sermons, then there's a problem with your sermon and you need to correct it. Because the gospel must be in it. I, I want you to, to close your eyes and picture this. Strip away the lights. Take away the fog machines. Take the sound systems down. Leave the coffee stored away. Take all those costly and worldly things and use them no more. And then picture this. Gather the people 
into one room together. Open the hymnals that actually bring glory to God and worship instead of these false gospel, false leading churches songs that are out there now that are filling pulpits coming from Jesus Culture and Bethel and Hillsong and Evelation Worship. Stop singing those songs and and open up the hymnals that bring glory to God. And open up the Word of God and go verse by verse in His Word and just trust that Jesus is enough. The fact of the matter is, yes, you will have many who leave because they're going to look at that church and go, oof, that is not for me. I need to go somewhere else. I need my coffee. I need my lights. I need my worship to shake my bones because the sound system is so good. You're, you're going to have people, I need a message that's going to lift me up each and every Sunday. It's going to make me feel good. I need my rock star preacher out there. You're going to have many who leave. But look at, look at this and see this. Many will leave, but what you will be left with are brothers and sisters in Christ whose hearts truly belong to Jesus. And you will have a people group gathering in your building, in your home, outside on a field, each and every week that can truly say, Jesus is enough.